I would like to take you through how you can fix problem of not receiving verification code through your contact when you try to set up a KDP Amazon account. So when trying to set up this account, it has been so problematic to get verification code using your mobile phone number, more so for people in the African continent and some parts of Asia. So what you're supposed to do basically, we can try and test and see the response which it is giving us when we try and verify our contact using our mobile phone. So when you get to a mobile phone number, when you try to get into your account in order to set up the payment uh, method, let us get to our account. You notice you are supposed to first do a, a two-step verification code. So when we try to input our contact here in order to do these uh, to verify, so let, us, let me show you. So I'm located from in Kenya, so I just want to test my contact. So you can see, let me enter my contact here. And you see the problem. Maybe it resembles to the present to the problem which you are going through. So you can see that uh, uh, we detected unusual activity, and uh, we are unable to verify your number at this time. Please try again later. And if we even enter the number, and uh, being told that the verification code has been sent to us, let me double click it again. You can notice the OTP is, is said to be sent to me, but in real sense, I'm unable to get this verification code. And this is the problem which I want us to fix now and fix it for good. So in, in case we develop this problem, which we need to do, we need to verify our Amazon KDP account using something we call Google Authenticator. So in order to use Google Authenticator, what you're supposed to do, we can open another tab and then search for Amazon.com. Amazon.com. So this is the official Amazon website, web, Amazon.com, and then hit enter. So we shall get into the official Amazon site. So when we get into the official Amazon site, what we need to do, we can dismiss this one. Then we need to come to where we have our name and uh, where it is named account and list, which is here. We click the drop down arrow and then come to where we have account. When we come to where we have account, we need to come to where the, we have the option login and security. Then we need to scroll downward. So we have some personal information here. We need to come here downward where we have two-step verification and turn it on. So we shall be taken into this interface. So in this interface, what is going on? We need to enroll to a two-step verification authenticator. What we need, we need to, you can either, so the two-step verification method does means you can use your mobile phone number to verify your account or you can use the Google Authenticator app to verify your KDP Amazon account. So because we are experience, we are experiencing problem to receive the verification code using the our mobile number, we shall select the authenticator app. So you notice a quick uh, 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 QR code is generated. So in order to scan this QR code, you need to install a Google Authenticator app in your Android device or your iPhone. So let me show you. So Authenticator, uh, uh, Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator, uh, Authenticator app. So in the in the in the in the in the in the Play Store, in the App Store, it appears like this. Let me show you. Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator in uh, Play Store. Play Store. So in Presto, when you get it in Presto, it will assemble this one. It will look like this. So there are multiple of them which have been created. So you just hit install. Then after installing, you shall just click get started. When you get started, you click this add add icon in the bottom in the bottom right hand side of your Android device. And because I'm also using Android device, I think in the iPhone it also resembles this one since Google is the same. Then after that. You just scan the QR code, which is here. So, and with no much ado, that is what we shall be doing here. That is what we shall be doing here. So, I just get into my Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator. So, let me get into the Google Authenticator now. And then we scan the code and see. And see the response. So, let me open it and uh, scan this QR code. So, we just click Get Started. Just click get started. 
then we need to scan the QR code which is here and it is already scanned so you need to enter this code here which is 656 751 7 so let me enter again so uh, you ensure 741 336 so when I talk I'm unable to So you remember, you are supposed, so let me show you from the App Store settings, which is here. So you are supposed to enter this QR code before these, uh, the, these clock, clock, uh, this clockwise icon have not lapsed rotating, or these box have not lapsed rotating. When it lapsed rotating, another verification code, OTP code will be generated. So already we have verified our account. So to notice that we have verified our account, what we can do, we can go to the two-step verification. So don't tick here. So you can see that Authenticator app, one app is enrolled. So and now this enrolled app, which have been enrolled by the two-step verification method, this is the method, this is the app now, the Google Authenticator, where we'll be receiving our OTP rather than using our contact. So what are we supposed to do again? So I would recommend you faster First, uh, we can uh, first sign out of the Google KDP uh, for Ama from Amazon KDP account and then sign in again so that we can be able to reset the settings. So then now we can come here and click your account now to set up your account now. So you can now notice that now the OTP is being sent into the Google Authenticator rather than our contact. So wait it to lapse so that I can enter the new uh, the new code now which will be generated. So I told you, you ensure because there is a box which is rotating, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise, like the clock. Just ensure you enter the QR code before it laps, rotating and clearing the and clearing the box. So let me now sign in using the OTP. So it is signing in now. So we are have now been able to verify our Amazon KDP account. So now this means we can be able to set up our our payment information, our account details, bank information, and tax information, which is here. And our account has a unique code which have been generated by KDP or Kido Direct Publishing account. So this is so essential. So don't get worried when you experience this problem. Since, as I, as I told you, this is problem is too prevalent in Africa and some parts of Asia. So, for now, you can be using this method. It is so effective and so easy to use. And uh, it is it generates uh, this OTP code with a, with a close of an eye. You have another OTP code and it's so easy to set up, as you see. So, what you need to do is just to follow the step-by-step -step guide, how I have guided you. So, basically, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a thumb up. We also value your sentiment. You can give, a, give, give us the, your sentiment in the comment section. In case you get this video helpful, please remember to subscribe the, to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss out any, any of our future rolling content like this. Then we have created a video totally guiding you on how you can set up payment method, which is so important in the Kido.